So today we are going to take the channel into a much more interesting direction, into a more creative, practical direction, because we are going to build some cool applications. So I was thinking of creating some form of um, achievement manager application. So achievement manager app where you sort of have like, you know, like in computer games, you have um, a list of achievements, um, like a, an achievements board. And then you sort of like, it's, it's kind of serves as a motivation to keep going through with the, um, completing the achievements because you can see progress. And that's a really important driver for progress, actually, because when you see how many steps you have X out of 10, how many you have completed one, two, three out of 10, then it's, it's a lot easier to, um, to find motivation to complete them because it shows you progression, right? So essentially uh, we would be turning real life scenarios into a sort of achievements, um, an, an achievement system. How would we approach this? Well, first of all, we need to start by defining exactly how this system would work. So we have some, <clears throat> we need to, first of all, think of some use cases, right? So we have first use cases. And first of all, we know that we have the need of creating achievements and we need to uh, read them, we need to update them and to delete them. So I can create, read, update, delete achievements. Let's call them ACH just for the, for the sake of uh, making this uh, shorter. And then what type of achievements can we have? An achievement can be standalone or multi achievement where you have like an epic achievement, which will be completed when you complete the sub achievements, right? So like in, for example, world of Warcraft. Um, so it can be like an epic achievement. Um, which is composed out of uh, other achievements. And then um, what types of achievements can we have? Uh, an achievement can be a completion achievement, right? <clears throat> Where you must complete X out, X out of Y items. Um, then you can have a challenge achievement where you, let's say you have some, you need to finish something in a certain amount of time, right? Then that would be a challenge, right? So it will be a timed achievement, a system. And then you can have some form of exploration achievement where in like, let's say in World of Warcraft, you would just explore some area. So then you could say an exploration achievement for some real life task would be, you know, just get, get acquainted with um, some, you know, let's say you want to learn something new, um, read um, or read, uh, read a new book, then, you know, explore the first chapter or something like that. X, right? Okay, so now how would we go about building this, this application? So how would I use this? And of course, there are many ways of solving this, this uh, application. It, so, so, so what I'm saying here is not the only way, it's just one of a billion ways to solve it. So it's just ideas. But the way I see using such an application would be, I have some achievement board, so I can see my achievement board at any time, right? Um, and we will dig deeper into what that means, um, whether it's like a website or, you know, some desktop application, then I can, you know, I can complete achievements. I can tick an achievement to complete it. And then we can add some more functionality. Like for example, an achievement could have, it doesn't have to have, but it could have some reward. Like, you know, let's say like a, a reward, maybe a title, like, you know, like in World of Warcraft, you would have something like uh, um, XD Explorer or something. I guess you can tell I played that game for a lot of time. 
if I say this was A, if I say this was B, this was C, D, E, and F. If we look at these things, um, some of them are use cases. I, I kind of made, made a salad here of, of uh, ideas. Um, ideas, these are actually ideas. And the use cases would be that the use cases would be here. This is a this is a use case that you can create, read, update, and delete achievements. So it will be A, then uh, B is an idea of what an achievement uh, can look like. C is also on, um, the, the exact same. Um, but D is a use case that you can, you have some achievement board that you can see at any time and you can see your progress, uh, shows progress per each achievement, <coughs> right? And then you can interact. I can interact and take an achievement to uh, to complete it right so this would be another uh, use case so now that we have um, a rough idea on how we want to use the application um, I think we can reach a point where we can decide on a tech stack right but the tech stack is um, very much dependent on how do you want to use this like should this be a mobile application should it be some website that you uh, can go to and then you see your progress or should it be some uh, Windows application some some uh, not necessarily Windows, but you know some desktop application so desktop mobile web another question would be familiar languages frameworks <clears throat> and this is this is kind of the this is an interesting question because it kind of depends on what you want to achieve with the application. Like, do we need to finish it quick or do we need to learn something new, right? Because if you need to finish quick, clearly you will go to the tech stack that you know the best already. And if you want to learn something new, then it might be worth diving into some new framework or new language. Yeah, th then it's about uh, cloud services like should it store uh, anything in cloud should it be usable on multiple devices if you want to use if you want to use it on multiple devices then you need to store its data in the cloud so that you can access it from multiple devices right so you cannot just have some local um, database or something um, on one single device. Okay, now that we have a few questions asked about the tech stack, let's, let's try to answer them. How do we use the app? Well, I would like to have quick access while working because I want to be able to check mark tasks immediately. Um, so I guess that makes a perfect candidate for a web app or a desktop app. Okay, now any languages or frameworks that the team is already familiar with, team being me in this in this case. So I'm coming from a C sharp uh, background, C sharp, JavaScript, TypeScript. So I think sticking to a OOP language would be good just to uh, be able to iterate quicker. But it will be cool to also learn some new language. We could try Java or uh, we could try even Dart. This would be really interesting because it's really close to C Sharp. Now we have not really answered the question whether it should be a web or desktop application, but I think for simplicity, we should start with a desktop application, which can be easily ported to, that can be easily ported to web or mobile and if we look at the languages what is the best option that we can use if we want to use one single code base for desktop web and mobile so let's say we choose dart and what are the advantages of using dart well it's definitely cross-platform 
you can use just one code base. And it's a pretty fun language, very approachable to somebody coming from C Sharp or Java. Since we want to make a desktop application, the Flutter framework supports Flutter supports a local database. And of course, this means that we will have the data only accessible on one device. So if we ever want to extend the application, uh, we, we should use, we should move the database to a cloud solution. And then we can use the application on multiple devices. But uh, for simplicity's sake, we should start with just a desktop application. Another advantage is that we have excellent documentation. Flutter and Dart have really good documentation. And we also have design consistency with material UI. I think the biggest advantage for Dart is just you have one code base. You can use this one code base to deploy on all the platforms. I think we have a winner here. So let's see again. We will be making an achievement manager application. You can create, read, update, delete achievements. You can see them on some board. You can interact with them with a board to complete achievements. You can get some titles maybe. So I think this should be pretty fun. Yeah, definitely subscribe. Let's build this thing together. Dart is definitely something relatively new for me. So we will be learning together from mistakes. And uh, yeah, it should be a lot of fun. In the next episode, we will start to develop the application based on all these informations. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.